Hey guys, it's Celine here and today I am back with a brand new video. I'm going to be doing a what is in my purse slash bag video, whatever you want to call it. They're pretty much the same thing in my opinion. Um, bags are, I think would be generally larger, purses I think are smaller. Then again, they're really similar, so I'm just gonna be getting right into the video. So my bag is a Rebecca Minkoff bag, and it looks like this, and I have brought this to New York City IMATS when I went in late April, and I got this as an early birthday present, as my 16th birthday present from my parents. So thank you to Anna and Baba for giving me this, because I love it so much, and I always use it whenever I go out, because it's just so easy to use, and goes with everything, and is super cute. So the back looks like this, and it has the Rebecca Minkoff um, logo on there, so if you're interested about that. And then the chain itself has a gold chain here, and the top has little gold stud buttons. So yeah, sometimes um, if I put a lot of things in it, it can get heavy, obviously, as any bag would. But um, it's awesome because when I like to go places and I don't really um, want to worry about not having room to hold it, like if I'm having other bags in my hands, I can wear it as a crossbody or just like long on my shoulders and I don't have to worry about holding it close, so it's easy to use and I'm so in love with it. So I'm just gonna get right into the video and show you actually what's inside of it. Um, I don't really know exactly what's inside, I have like a good idea, but I did use it I think yesterday, so I have a pretty good idea of what's in it, but so first I think I see here are sunglasses, so these are non-prescription, they look like this, so... I think they look pretty fabulous, so they're just like this. Uh, I really don't know the brand name, it's just a regular pair of um, turquoise glasses. I do have prescription glasses from Vera Bradley, but since I wear contacts, um, usually um, well, I wore contacts yesterday, so I brought these with me because obviously it wouldn't make sense to wear contacts and prescription sunglasses, so when I'm not wearing my Vera Bradley ones, I wear these. So the next thing I see is this little notebook from my friend Fiona, which um, she gave to me from, um, she bought it in France and it is handmade, which is awesome. So I have all my video ideas in here and whatnot, so I keep ideas in here whenever I'm like moving or something and I just instantly get a video idea and I don't want to put it into my phone. I put it in here because I feel more official, I like to cross it off and it's just such a cute little notebook and it's easy to put in, so I have that. Then I have some feminine supplies, aka a pad. Um, and then I have my wallet in here, which is this Juicy Couture wallet that I got maybe four years ago or so from my best friend Melise as a birthday present. So a lot of these things are birthday presents for me. A little zipper in the back, which is awesome because sometimes if uh, when I was younger and I didn't really want to carry a bag, I would just carry this with me. I would put like the house key in here or something. So very, very versatile. Um, wallets, so thank you to Melis, um, even though I got this like four years ago. Thanks again, I love it so much, and she knows that I use it, I use it a lot too, so. Now I have another notebook, which um, is like my little other notebook where I write down things. I actually use this for my Insight, um, not Insight, my literary magazine that I'm an editor in, so I was jotting down things at our meeting yesterday, um, just like things that we should work on as a club and get improve on, so just like a little notebook. I think this is like more for school and not really video ideas. I like to keep this for video ideas and this for more random things if I have um, like ideas for poetry or just um, things I want to get done, I can just write it on paper here. Um, what else, what else? Uh, oh, I have headphones in here, which are always awesome. I love my earphones, so these are just the ones by Apple. They're the more later version ones because when I got my phone, I got these with them. I have a headband in here, which is very helpful for me because since I have short hair and I don't always have time to style it a lot because it's very easy to style, but say I let it air dry, it's easy to just wear it and bam, awesome. So I have this headband in here, um, what else? Oh, okay, and then in the zippered area, which by the way, this is what the inside of my bag looks like if I did not show you already. So in these zippered compartments, I have a lot of lip gloss. So I have my NYX Butter Gloss and I got this from iMass and it's one of my favorite lip glosses ever. It's so awesome and it smells really good. And it's an Angel, angel Food Cake. So it smells like vanilla. It's, the, oh, it's awesome. I love it so much. Um, so I have that. I don't really use it that often though. I only use it when I'm actually going out. And then I have my Baby Lips, which I've been using for the past like year or two now. So I got this like early last, no not even last year, I got in like freshman year, so now I'm going into junior year. So it looks like this, it's this awesome purple color, I've used quite a bit of it if you can't tell already. I have my Burt's Bees Pink Blossom Tinted Lip Balm again, a little bit of color and I, it's 100% natural. Awesome pink color, it's seriously so beautiful, I am in love with it. I had this for two years, three years. Again, random lip balm. Then I have eye drops, and these are the Sustain Ultra. I like these a lot better than Vizine because it is a lot more gentle to my eyes and 
yeah, just for contact wise, I usually need this because sometimes in my left eye, um, I have like it gets a little bit of red on the inner corner and I and then I get irritated and if I'm at school especially I'll just pop this in um, like one or two drops and then the redness goes away eventually. So that is what is inside the zipper compartments. And then on the pocket size, I usually put my phone in there, but right now my phone is out um, of the pocket. And then in the zipper compartment, I have my house key, which I'm not going to show just because it is like personalized and customized, so just I'm not going to show it. Um, and the mini zipper, I have nothing. And usually, I sometimes have my ID in there, sometimes I have receipts in here, so I have that. I did recently clean out my bag, so um, it was a little bit more organized, so that is pretty much what's in my bag. I also have gum, forgot to show that, but yeah, I usually have gum in here, but this is unopened, so I took the gum that I actually have been using out. I don't know why, but I do usually have gum somewhere in my bag. Um, yeah. So you guys usually like to see what's inside my bag and things like that, so I figured why not do it? I don't see any harm in doing it, it's just a bag, I don't have anything to hide, so... This is what it looks like. I love it so much. It goes with everything. That is it for what's in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, I don't know the exact style number, but I do know um, that Rebecca Minkoff is a popular brand here on YouTube, so this is my bag. Um, comment down below if you guys want a what's in my backpack for school video, which I know is not a exactly similar to this, but it is similar S because I'm showing you what's in an actual backpack or what's on my iPhone, my iPad Air, stuff like that. Just ask me whatever you want to ask me in the comments below. I usually respond because I love talking to you guys. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in my next video and I love you guys. Bye everyone.